This is the best way to get better at pickleball. You may have never seen the drill I'm about to show you, but if you do this drill, you're gonna be able to work on strategy, footwork, technique, decision making, and more. And we're gonna show you multiple different variations of this drill and even a way to turn it into a game at the end. And be sure to stay to the end of the video because we have a massive giveaway that you're not gonna to wanna to miss. So let's get into it. If you master this drill, you're gonna be able to get to the kitchen line consistently and win more pickleball points. What you're gonna do is you're going to start with the person at the kitchen line giving you a nice cooperative feed. Then you're gonna hit a drive, followed by a drop, followed by a reset. You're gonna shuffle back to the baseline, rinse and repeat. So this is what it should look like. You're gonna go ahead and hit a drive on the first one. Then you're gonna drop the next one. You're gonna come up into transition you're gonna reset that ball, shuffle back to the baseline, and repeat. So you're gonna drop that one, reset that one, shuffle back, drive, drop, reset, repeat. Once you've kind of mastered that, we're gonna show you some different variations that are gonna help with decision making and make this more into a game-like scenario. So once you've gotten comfortable with this sequence, drive, drop, reset, shuffle, shuffle back, repeat, once you've gotten a few down, you're gonna add this variation. And that is when you get to this middle court wh where you're resetting the ball, now you're gonna decide, do I block the ball, reset it into the kitchen? If it's up a little higher, maybe in that yellow light zone, I can counter the ball. Or if it's up shoulder high, I can let it fly and let it go out. So those are the three options I have once I make it to this zone. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna drive. I'm gonna drop. Now that one I had to reset because it was nice and low, but if she gives me one that's up, I can try to counter it, or that one I might have been able to let go. So you're gonna add this variation in. Once you've hit a kind of good reset and they have to concede and hit a dink back, you can work your way up and play the point out from the kitchen. Okay, so once you've kind of had an opportunity to play in the mid court, work on your decision making on whether you're going to reset the ball, counter the ball or let it go. Now it's time to incorporate the game. This is how the game works. You're gonna go right back to that sequence, drive, drop, reset. Once you hit that third ball in transition, the point is live. So this is what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna come up and drop. And then this ball right here, once I touch that ball, the ball is now live. So if I pop that ball up, she can come in and attack it. If I hit a good reset, I can come in and close. So once I hit that third ball, the ball is live. So let's just say the score is 0-0, zero, zero, first one to 11, then we're gonna switch rolls. Okay, so here we go, 0-0. Zero, zero. I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna drop. Now the ball is live. Okay, so she would get that point and it would be 1-0. Okay, let's try it again. So again, cooperative feed. Gonna drive, drop. So you see on this one, the point was not live yet. So it's no points for either team because I didn't make it to the third shot. All right, so now the score is still 1-0. And I'm gonna drive, I'm gonna drop. I'm gonna reset. Now the point's live because I hit my third one. We're gonna play the point out. And I would have won that point. So now the score is one to one. Once one person has made it to 11, you're gonna switch roles and play again and see who wins. Then you can switch sides. And that's pretty much the drill. Guys, if you do this drill with all the different types of shots that you get to work on, this is gonna make you game ready and you're gonna be able to get to the kitchen line with ease. Getting to the kitchen line with ease nowadays looks like a lot of people hitting a drive and then coming in and dropping the next one. And one thing to keep in mind here, you are playing half the court, so the skinny court here. Once you've played on this side, then you can step to the other side of the court so you can practice hitting shots from all areas. This is one of the best drills you can do to take your level to 40 plus. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe to the playpickleball.com YouTube channel. And as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, we have a massive giveaway for you guys. We're gonna be giving away $200 worth of Selkirk store credit to five lucky winners. If you want a chance to win, find the link in the description below and we'll see you on the next one.